We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. We love him in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this hour, God. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. There's nobody like you. Hey, boss, I said there's nobody like you in the name of Jesus. There is nobody like Jehovah. My God, excellent is his name. Magnificent is his name. Vose kadavasia. Everybody, come on. Come on. I want you to go into a place of prayer. My God, come on. In the name of Jesus. Listen, the God that we serve is faithful. Come on. Let's go into that place of prayer. In the name of Jesus. My God, bless morning to every single one of us. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless his name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless his name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless his name. Vaso kabasia, vison de basu kaba, lebre si bidi biosha, vaso kalabra su telabriasia, vison de kabasi bidi biosha. Vaso cabra subidi biasa, lebro sibidi bio santa la brasia, vaso cava sibidi biosa, in the mighty name of Jesus, cola brasia. My God, listen to me, let's raise up this prayer point again. Don't give up. Chambers, I think that's the name. Don't give up. Listen to me, and it's going to sound crazy. As a matter of don't even focus on it. Right now, I don't want you to focus on it. This is what I want you to do. I want you to lift up this prayer point with me and with everybody else that's on here this morning. Okay? Don't, don't focus on it. Trust me. I know it sounds crazy. I don't know if it's your first time thinking, who's this crazy guy telling me not to focus on it? Don't focus on it. Bosha. Anything that you focus on, what just now becomes an idol. And listen to me. An idol, see, the thing about idolatry is not that, you know, uh, you know God is like, listen, it is that that thing becomes humongous. Okay? Uh, uh, humongous. I see that prayer request to you, Pastor Gail. We're going to pray for Pastor Gail. So what is now? It becomes humongous. And then what is now? It begins to mess with your psychology and my psychology. So now, what is now? We will see ourselves as grasshoppers. And we will see that thing as a giant. And listen, do you know, if you read the text, do you know that it was not communication coming from the opposition that said that they were giants. It was the spies who decoded and analyzed that, listen to me, these people were just now are giants and we are grasshoppers in their eyes. So listen to me. Anytime something happens, I don't know if it's a man or woman, change this. This is for you, okay? It is a trick of the enemy, Sister Cheryl, for me to take my focus of God and place my focus on that thing. And that thing will begin to consume me. Listen to me. Listen. You know, do you know what the Lord told me just before I came on? You know, this morning when I woke up? God is my witness. He said, Albert, I need you to start doing some, you know, some of the scholarship stuff. I said, God, come on, man. Don't do these kind of things to me. You know, it's like, I want you to go look for them children that can't pay their school fees, their tuition fees. Let me tell you something. Do you know what happens on this side of the world? I want to share something with you. It's, you know, it's like, it's something that happens, but it's, it is seldomly. Are spoken of, but you know, it, it is known to happen most of the time. The young girls who are unable to pay for their tuition fees, their school fees, okay, uh, most of the time they get pressurized by some of the teachers, the male teachers. They are, they are, they are, they are, what's the word I'm looking for? They are wolves, okay. They pray. Thank you. What's your first name, Chambers? What's the first name? I know it's a Y. Is it Yvonne? Okay, so you know what happens is they take advantage of them, Yvette. Okay, Sister Yvette, work with us this morning, okay? I don't know if it's your first time, but just work with us, okay? So, you know, uh, some of them are brilliant, some of them are bright, but because they, you know, they have to, you know, sleep with them teachers just to, you know, be able to go through school. So some of them are left with no option. They don't see no help coming from nowhere. So, so you know what I'm going to do? I don't know I'm going to do this, but I'm going to get me some of these young guys that I'm going to tell them to go to, you know, the remote places. Go and find out. 
the schooling system, the school fees, them kids that can't afford their school fees. And prayer mantle, we're going to start paying school fees. Okay? Right, listen to me. We're going to be a practice. See, the Lord has been saying to us that Abba don't look at the numbers. That's, what you, that's, that's the mistake that you keep making. Do not look at the numbers. Because whenever I'm getting ready to do something, you've got to understand that I prune. Okay? I, 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 I clear around. I remove people that I know are going to be obstacles. Not only that, I remove people who are self-righteous and think that it's all about them, Sister Sherlyn. Because what is now? When salvation comes, they will feel that it's because of them. And so, Brother Gideon, Pastor Gideon, go to your mega church. And I'm going to shrink your mega church into a few hundreds because of the victory that I'm about to give your church. So that when the victory comes, somebody cannot stand there and say, it is only because of. So I know, prayer man, to listen to me. I told you, we're going into trading, but we're also going to do the scholarship. We still got the orphanage that we support. And you know what blessed me this morning? You know, uh, one of our sisters, she's in London. When I was coming to Ghana, she blessed me with a printer, you know, a printer, an Epson printer. And for about a year and a half now, the ink has run out and I've not been able to get the ink. So my father was coming from London just yesterday. So I, I, I'd spoken to her before. I said, hey, please, can you give me, you know, the black, you, you know, them printers that when one color runs out, the printer refuses to work. The devil is a lie. They're just trying to make as much money from us as possible. So I said, please buy me the black, you know, the ink, the black one. So... You know, uh, I told her, I, I sent her a picture on Facebook Messenger, told her, just give me one because the black is run out. And so my sister called me and said, Albert, you know, the, no, my friend actually posted, you know, said, Albert, I bought it. She had traveled, I bought it. I've, 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 you know, posted it to your sister's house. Make sure she gets it. It's, it's got your name on it so your dad can bring it. So I'm expecting because, you know, I'm just, listen, I just want one. You know, one will do me. One, one is all I need. So I said, oh, you know, just buy me one. So my dad comes just this morning. I went to pick him up at the airport. And thank God for Uber. You know, and I, I, I see a package that my dad gives me. I said, what is this? He said, that's the ink. I said, what do you mean that's the ink? I just wanted one. I said, hold on a minute. Listen to this now. I'm going to flip my camera around. Listen to it. Look at what my friend did. Look at what she did. Look at what she did. Did you see that? I'm like, I said, oh, I said, dad, I just, I just wanted one. Sister Cheryl, I, I, I just wanted one. Oh, Barcia, I just, I just wanted one. Sister Yvonne, no, honestly, you know, Kalalabas, I just wanted one. So not only, you know, she bought about six, seven of the black. And then she, she, she. She also then, what well, just now, bought the other colors which have not even run out yet. I don't know, I don't know what God is trying to say to us, me included, this morning. Listen to this now. I just wanted black. Just one. I want to pressure and say, hey, sis, just give me one. Not only she okay, let me count. The black is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, guess what? Eight. So eight black on its own. 2018. I don't know if she knew what she was doing. So she buys eight black and then she buys a set of all the other colors that have not run out yet. Now listen to this. Listen to this. If flesh and blood can think on this level if flesh and blood can think on this level and know that, listen to me, sister, if, oh, but I see her, sister Yvette, if flesh and blood can think on this level, what makes you think that our Father in heaven, my God, will neglect us? Sister, sister Cheryl, I was just expecting one. So when I spoke to my sister, you know, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. You know, when, when I spoke to my sister, you know, she she was like, uh, you know, um, oh, daddy's not going to bring it because it's too much. I said, what do you mean? Just one ink. He can't carry one ink, you know. 
So he said, no, no, no. I'm like, so, you know, I was like, you know, just, just, you know, just put in the bag. I'm expecting one. I'm expecting one. Sister Shirley, see what I told you? That's what I keep saying to you, that when you go down on your knees and you're praying, listen to me, that list that you have, see them stuff that you want God to do for you this year? Do you actually know that what is on that list, God has already done exceedingly, abundantly, beyond all that you could ask or imagine? Do you know that, watch this now, when God looks at your list, he laughs? Do you know that? And it's not that he's laughing and mocking you. He's saying, oh my God, look at my child. That, that's what they want me to do for them. This is it. This is why you're crying down there. This is it. Is this it? Is this, is this it? And she said, Yvonne, listen, you know, you, you know them things in, in, you know, in Jeep. And then the same sister, she, you know, I'll show you the message if I could. She said, Brother Albert, I'm, I'm doing a barrel. I'm shipping it to Ghana. What's your address in Ghana? I ain't even responded to that message yet. Now listen to me. Somebody of that character, when she is getting blessed, See, it is not God to do her pouring oil on herself or somebody saying, bring water, let me bless it. She, she, God knows that what is now, she has allowed herself to become a spiritual warehouse. When God puts something into her spirit, she releases it. And listen to me, it's not that she has so much, but she understands what it is to be a child of God. I'm here in Ghana. God knows I was just expecting one ink because that's all I needed. God knows. God knows. That's why, listen, this year, I'm putting the practical side. Listen to me. We become super spiritual. We become too spiritualized. And we have neglected the basics, the things that we need to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? And we're allowing the demons to, to come and have a stronghold in the lives of the children of God. If listen to me, some of these school fees that I'm talking about, listen, some of them is not even like twenty dollars, you know. Some of them is like the whole semester for twenty dollars, ten dollars. I'm being serious. One time they told me I was like, that's that's all the school fees. It's like, yes. Listen to me. If I can prevent a young girl from getting pregnant because of her school fees, you know, just recently in Ghana there was a video that went viral, you know, a headmaster and 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 allegedly uh uh, uh, you know, one of the school kids, okay, and I think they had videoed it and it went viral all in Ghana, still trending on social media in Ghana. The headmaster, I ain't talking about teacher, I'm talking about the headmaster, and he ran away. I think I don't, I don't know if they found him, but he ran away after after the, after the video went viral. You know what I'm saying? Listen to me, if I can. If it is within the realms of possibility, whatever we can do to help eradicate. Listen to, listen to me. It's not everything that's spiritual, you know. Sometimes it's just, you know, like the young man that we're trying to put through the IT course. He called me this morning. I, you know, I didn't answer my phone. You know, you know my son, right? Hey, guess what? Guess what? Thank you for those who, who, who gave me that good advice. We, you know, my, I made my sister buy a vaporizer. You know, a humidifier. That's it. Humidifier. So, you know, um, VIX, right? VIX humidifier. So my dad brought it, so I turned it on. You know, oh Lord, my God. Very good, Sister Brenda. Oh Lord. You know, so Sister Sherry, so I turned it on. You know, and I, you know, you know the like the the, the smoke or whatever, not smoke, you know, it comes out very nice, you know. So um, you know, I mean I'm 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 enjoying it too, by the way, you know, not just for him. So the room was just full, you know, nice smell. So God is good. But I think what I need to do, you know the um the steam, so the mist. See the, um, you know the victim, see, see that little thing that goes into the humidifier? You, 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 you see that, that refill pad? I think I need to get a lot more. Because apparently it lasts for eight hours. Like, you know, if you turn it on, it lasts for eight hours. So I need to, I, you know, I, need, I, need to, I need to get me some more. And apparently there's one or there's some that you can put on for the night time. You understand? Peppermint oil. You can't put, you can't put anything in the water, can you? That's what, you know, you can't put anything, you, you, you shouldn't put anything in the water. I just want to make sure. You can't put anything in the water, thank you. You can't put it. okay. You can't even put oil. Somebody's saying yes, somebody's saying no. Which one is right? 
He just water. Sister Farah, I don't think you can put anything. I don't think you can put anything in the um, Oh, you did? Is this still working? What model? Oh, I have, to, I have to find out the model and tell you. Maybe tonight. Sister Farah, has yours not broken down? Are you sure? Because listen, this is gone. If it breaks down, I have to travel back to London to get another one. But like, you know, I would like to get, you know, I was thinking of the essential oil stuff, but you know, I don't know. First of all, I need to make sure that, you know, it, the baby can take it. Do you see what I'm saying? It went for three years, then it stopped. <laughs> listen, I just want to stick with Vicks, you know what I mean? Let me just stick to that for now, okay? But I'm going to read up on it though. I'm going to read up on it. I'm going to read up on it. So I need, okay, I'll find out the model, then I'll come and tell you later on, okay? But so far, you know, just the water in there, you put that little thing, then, you know, it just comes up and then you smell, you know, that Vicks rub, you know, that thing. So I'm, I'm not going to put anything in there, okay, until, until we have another conversation. You know, so he's sleeping, you know, he's well. You know, um, my, my wife took him to the hospital yesterday, and, um, okay, and um, what happened was, you know, the, the the doctor said he's fine, but you know, you can just keep him on his belly, but just need to keep an eye on him, you know. So when he sleeps on his belly, like last night, he sleeps for a very long time. Okay? Oh, no, no, I'm not putting no oil in there. Just fix for now, you know, until I, you know, but, you know, so he, he's sleeping, you know, he's sleeping. My say, hey, guess what? My sister got me, you know, some of the bottles that he was uh, using, he didn't like it. So, you know, Dr. Brown, right? I didn't know there was a Dr. Brown, you know, bottle, you know, so, um, you know, my sister got one, so today he drank from that. He was eating from that, and he was fine. Normally, you, you know, that is it Tommy Tippy? Listen, listen. When, when, when you have a baby, you learn a lot. I think it's too hard for him. Do you understand? I think it's too hard for him. So he wasn't really taking it. But, yeah, but I, I was told that, that, you know, my sister's a nurse in London. She said, Albert, Dr. Brown, you know, has got a vent thing in there, so she bought one. So we tried it on him, on him today. He didn't spit it out. So that's good. You know, it's fine, you know, if it's expensive, even as long as he's, he's comfortable. So that's what we, we just used it this morning and he's fine. So I think I'll probably just get the full set later on. You know, I just get somebody to buy it from me in London and then bring it over to me. Yeah, it's less air, I think. You know, so, so far so good, okay? So thank you for all you, listen, all your advice. I've been taking it, you know, I go to my wife and say, okay, let's Google, let's watch YouTube. Thank God for YouTube in Jesus' name. You know, it's delivered me from a lot of stuff and it's helped me. Okay? So, you know, um, thank you so much. Okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Those of you who are experts in those weeks, send me messages. Let me know what, you know what to do. Okay? But I think he's getting better. You know, I think obviously the, the stomach, you know, the colic, they said is normal. Apparently, boys have it more. Hey, listen, there's this thing that I saw. I don't know if you know. It's something called happy tummy. Hey, I think it's HAP. Apparently, you know, for boys, like, you know, I think, you, you know, you wrap it around the belly. I think it helps with the colic. Oh, you have six, so you, you know what I mean? So um, I'm trying to get something, you know, apparently, I mean, people have been giving some stuff, something that apparently you put around the tummy. So, so, so listen, email me something, you know, something that works, okay, that I can get at least for his stomach because, you know, my wife has been using some, you know, my wife just tired, you know, like a little something just to keep his belly warm. Oh, he's taking gripe water, he's taking Infocol, you know, but I think, you know, he, every now and again, he would just feel his stomach, you know, turning. So, you know, but I think there's something that will make him a lot more comfortable. If there's anything that you know, send it to me, okay? Email me, okay? So we'll look at it and then we, we can try and get it, okay? May you come? Of course, you can call me. Email me your number, I'll call you. How about that? Email me your number, I'll call you. Oh, yeah, massage his belly, you know, you know what I mean? Like, you know, my wife massages him, you know. So, like, when you massage him, especially most of the time, the best time he sleeps is just after he's had his bath. Then he'll just go into a sleep. He'll go into another realm. I keep saying to her, I say, listen, whatever God tells you, you, be you better come back and tell me. She's breastfeeding, yes. You know, not trying to do the formula stuff. You know, even the doctor said natural, the best, you know, the natural milk is the best. Okay. Or sometimes he just be looking up at I'm like, what do you see? Do you see angels? Tell me what you see. In Jesus' name. So listen, family, I'm excited. Okay? Let's stick together. Let's stick together.
Okay, let's do this. Listen to me. He has got nothing. Oh, no, no, she's not eating no spicy food. No. No. You know, let's do this. I'm not listening. I know you don't. I'm not listening. I know some of us are looking and saying, and saying listen, we don't have any, uh, you know, we, like we're not some big ministry, you know, where we're going to get money from to do this, where we're going to get money from to do that. But you know what? Sister Cheryl, I'm learning. One thing that I'm learning from God is that he would just give you some ideas which sound so silly. It's like, God, oh God, why me? Why me? Oh, Lord, we've got a demon showing up. God bless you. In Jesus' day. You know? So, I want you to be open. The Bible says the children of Issachar, they understood the times and the seasons, so they knew what to do. Okay? So, let's understand the time and the season that the Lord has placed us in. Okay? Sister Farah, you just have to ignore them people. You know, let's understand. This is, listen to me. Anytime we get this opposition, notice that God has given us fresh manna. It's fresh. And the Lord is pushing us into a new place. Okay? So the first thing I want us to do is let's respond to the young man. Okay, that we're going to put through, you know, through the school. Okay, I'm going to get pictures taken. I'm going to so that we will have it on the website. So that when we start our scholarship, we're going to know who we're sponsoring. The schools, the kids that we're putting through school. You will see for yourself. Okay, because let me tell you something. A lot of us, every single one of us, God has called us to do something in ministry. Ministry is not just used to, you know, it's not chasing a platform. It's not chasing a pulpit. Trust me. We've made, it, we, we, we've made it look as if that is the, you know, the pinnacle of ministry. You understand? But that's not it. You understand? That's not it. I keep saying to you, some of you listen to me, what, what the Lord has called you to do. Listen to me. You know, some of you just, uh, let's say, $200 that can go. Listen, some of you e emailing me all this kind of stuff. You better, you, you, you know, you better send it to me by email because, you know, I can't read all of this stuff. Okay? So send it to me by email. But back to what I was saying. Okay? That, but, but, you know, back to what I was saying, you know, you can be the one who will break a cycle, a demonic cycle in the life of somebody when you put them through school. Okay? So, you know, my wife is calling me, you know, she's got an assignment. She's got catering to go and handle. So I need to take care of the baby. Okay? So I need to rush off. Okay? But we will talk again. Okay? I promise you. Those of you that I promise to email me, if I don't see the email... When I come back, I'm going to pray some prayers on you in Jesus' name. Okay? So email me them stuff. Okay? Email me the stuff. I'm just, you know, I have, to, I have to go and babysit. Okay? Well, he's sleeping. So, you know, but I'll come back again. Okay? She has to go and, you know, so she just signaled me that please come. So love your family. Okay? I'm excited. Okay? Please don't sit on your ideas. Email me. I don't like when you don't email me. Okay, we've got a few group of people that we're going to start with the trading. We're going to be praying about it. But the scholarship, let's, let's do it together. Okay, let's put together a good package in Jesus' name. So I love you all. You know, the fasting is over for the church that I go to. I think I'm still going to carry on. But we'll be praying ten, you know, in the evenings. Okay, love you all. I'll see you, I'll see you soon. Okay, in Jesus' name. Love you all. Sister Yvette Chambers. Ho, Balsia. Don't worry about it. I don't know why I'm just said that, but just don't don't worry about it. Okay? I love you all. Catch you later. Learn how to send an email in Jesus' name. Just get somebody to help you. Okay? Good morning, Sister Mavis. Catch you later.